If that card's nothing, we can survive. And then, you know, this marks. And you never know. Like, if that's just like a, you know, generic 2 2 or whatever. Stone stacker or something. And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat, and everybody on YouTube for some Ezreal Kindred. We have our uh, last donation deck today. Going to be trying to make Kindred work in a Catalog of Regrets Go Hard Control deck. We played a very similar deck just the other day with Ezreal and Elise. That one was a little bit more aggressive, having Elise as well as having the um, three mana Sentinel, so some more fearsome attackers and some more burn. This one's going to be a little bit more controlling with Kindred, we're going to have Aloof Travelers give us some extra card draw. Um, and of course, as we know, Aloof Travelers is always just a very good quality card. Also, like these kind of decks that have like Go Hards and Vile Feast, like these kind of cards, like you usually do great against small things. It's like the big things that, that give you trouble, right? And so Aloof Travelers can get rid of those big things and hopefully help us out a little bit there. Um, but then we're going to have Withering Mist to be two targets. We'll have Static Shock be two targets. These cards, both two targets for Ezreal, so those. Uh, will help level Ezreal up, and hopefully we're able to slay some you know weaker enemies and then have Kindred mark other stuff and kill some stuff for free. I don't know. We're going to just kind of see if that can work. So let's go ahead and play Ezreal and Kindred together in some control. We're going to go head on over to Ranked and play five games. So I'm predicting we're going to kind of break the break the cycle here. I don't think we're going to go 5-0, and and I don't think we're going to go 0-5. I think we're going to have wins and losses together for the first time. That's my guess. I'm going to keep the Kindred. They don't have tons of removal. They do have a Monster Harpoon. But besides that, not lots of removal. Yeah, another control deck, Arobas. We have the attack token round three for Ezreal. Hello, you best friend. Why would you have the sad face about hitting the best possible card to hit? I don't understand. Getting the the two four is the largest body you can have. Don't blink or you'll miss me. Watch and learn. Gotcha. No, it doesn't have a new animation. Lux is the only one of the Battle Ac Academia champions Firing. that have a new animation. to save spell mana. It's not... Go with the flow. Okay. So it would be great playing Catalog here, in, like into Kindred. Stop bragging if you could back it up. Nailed it. Kindred would be a four power quick attack attacker, but they have this thing they can just block with. <laughs> you like that Ezreal skin? Safety will cost. We are a very good deck to nab. We have a lot of good cards to nab. So like, playing Fire. playing a nab deck against us is very good. Count. All right, so we finally cleared out that two four. Pain. 
Pain is nothing. Three, four, five, six. Okay, I guess I guess that's our plan. Is basically play everything. Do I want to? We have to discard something with the get excited, right? What are we discarding? If we, you know, go hard, Mystic Shot, and get excited all on that Sejuani. What are we discarding? Maybe just this other Mystic Shot? Born Keep Catalog? Pockets, huh? Maybe I should be discarding Catalog and keeping Mystic Shot? Yeah, I think I should have discarded Catalog and kept Mystic Shot the more I think about it right now. Because we get we have an open attack for six. For seven. And then Ezreal's doing damage each spell. And of course creating this other Mystic Shot. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Yep. Yep, definitely should have kept Mystic Shot and discarded Catalog, but alright. They shall surrender. And it worked out. Yeah, the chase ends. More lie ahead. Wanna know? Yeah, that was a good game. Yeah, Kindred looked, looked good. So if this pat if we can continue the pattern, maybe we will go five and oh. Who knows? Oh we'll send catalog back. Uh, I'd rather have catalog than Ezreal against Demacia. Demacia with fight spells and especially Sharp Sight is not a deck you want Ezreal against. Eh, card's a little bit of a problem. Please don't have Rangers Resolve. Just let that happen. You've got to be kidding me. Wow. What a blowout. What a blowout. Me. Could aloof travelers, but I like having to get excited. From all the regions we are okay, so we can assume they don't have one mana sharp sight. Alright, so if I play Kindred, kills Ezreal, block there. Oh man, if they just have Sharp Sight though, it's so, so bad. Ugh. Please, please work, please work, please work. Clap, clap. Yeah, clap, clap. to see the world. Where are they? Okay, that gives me a blocker for Lulu. I wanted to wait for, you know, like, I was gonna like, wait till next round, play Kindred, then play that card, but... 
miss. That was something I was willing to have happen. Look, a thing. L, that's not ours. Can a spirit fight to the death? Think can all learn soon. <laughs> Shall we do? I'm ready, little My shield is yours. Could be us taking in a decent amount of damage. Oh yeah, rallies are a problem. So I don't know if I can just vengeance the Lulu and then they just like play a new Lulu or a new uh, Pompey. I guess it's not super likely to have more of those cards. We made it, yay! But our stuff did it. All right, got rid of a relentless pursuit. You know, everything in their hand costs two or less, right? Because they usually they always discard like the card on the right. Seems like. Give me the blocker. All right, team. Wow, Adventure. never mind. They just also had Poppy. That was on the right of that. The that they powers. don't discard Poppy. Because that so that was the that was the nightmare of not playing Vengeance that they would have a Poppy, but Yeah, that's not good. Don't you look a sight? Go away. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? Yeah, I guess because Bandel City Mirror made Poppy 3, so then it didn't... But usually they just discard the one on the right anyway, so I don't... I'm just scared of another rally. Oh, my best play is against rally. One shot, all skill. Never one. Without the other. Mama's home. Uh got punished. The hunt begins. That's nah, not worth it. They don't know what they're up against. Sing with the darkness in your heart. Definitely got punished for not just attacking first by that card. So I can't survive. Everything does three. That Poppy. So I could I can vengeance that. Mystic shot that. That doesn't do it. If I I guess if I play this, we have to find another fast speed removal spell. Fast speed this. Okay, so we shoot that, shoot that, you stay alive there, you block there, we go to one. If that card's nothing, we can survive, and then, you know, this marks, and you never know. Like, if that's just like a, you know, generic 2-2 or whatever. Stone stacker or something. I guess they get to give Lulu Barrier. I forgot about that part. 
just kill me. Oh, right, but we mark. More than one way to pick a pine cone. I'll show you. Firing. Kindred carry. If you want something done right, let me do it. Kindred carry. I don't think we have to do this right now. We can wait till next round. The comeback. Looking for a trick is to swing hard. second and third gohards all right yeah because gohard okay so this is our top five cards this is left to right so gohard's our top card in our deck so we know that we're gonna have pack your bags next round and now yeah we stabilize from pokey stick that's important and now pack your bags That should be lethal right there. What a comeback. What a comeback. So many Lulus and Poppies and all sorts of stuff. Wow. Oh, we figured it out. Cordex back now. Cordex was, was watching during Xerath Zillion, but left during Sivir Scion and is back now. So that's why we can't lose. All right, so Viego, Viego hard to beat. I think we just keep this though, right? Because then, like, this just seems pretty good. We really hope our opponent doesn't draw the card Viego. If they don't draw the card Viego, we probably win. If they draw the card Viego, we probably probably lose. This is like our our you know a very good quality go hard hand though, right? Like if we can get some extra go hards with these, we can pack our bags kind of early. Oh, we don't even have a guardian over here? I didn't know you couldn't have a guardian. Or maybe our guardian's invisible. Did you know did y'all know you can just like not have a guardian? Like that's an option? Alright, well that's how it goes. No way. We of course want to get the go hard back in the deck. Well, I did say I wanted to see the world. It is true, you did say that. Please don't have Viego, just do something else. No, they have Viego. Alright, well. Both teams played hard. So we're going for Packer Bags. To me. 
We know that Packer Bags is going to be one of our next cards. Like the go hard, the extra go hard. So maybe I need to be playing this Station Archivist to grab that go hard first before. Because like if we just draw go hard right here, then it's just in our hand. Uh, yeah, it was the top card. Hmm. Alright, I just lose one mana, they lose three mana. Let me get you that file. Well, that's kind of ugly. Patience, awesome. I guess not quite yet, actually. 19. Not quite yet. I mean, I guess I take this vengeance? Man, this game is over. Strongest. It's just the exact kind of hand that is impossible for our deck to be. They talked about at the beginning. They have Viego. They have a whole bunch of Ionia cards to protect Viego. They even had a Hydra Vine. That's just. If you could ask exactly what what cards you could ever want in this matchup, this is just the perfect hand. So, good game. Two and one. But it's all about that Viego, of course. Yeah, they had more Viegos. Alright, let's move on. Alright, so they're playing Bandal City, so they can have Curious Shellfolk. We're playing Shadow Isle, so we can have Go Hard and Catalog. I'm gonna keep this catalog. I think this is a good catalog matchup, and it's all it's also a great aloof travelers matchup, but so I guess I should keep that too. I just didn't want to keep two cards that cost four. It is a great Aloof Travelers matchup, but I, I should just keep the Aloof Travelers. Yeah, I should just keep that. Nothing's more exciting than an unsolved mystery. I don't want to give them a target, right? Station Archivist, like, usually hits a removal spell. I don't want to give them a target for that removal spell. Okay, they took time trick. Time for a treat. 
true display of skill. Yeah, aloof travelers gets rid of shell folk. I should have kept aloof travelers. That's a mistake getting rid of that card. So two targets for Ezreal. They should have the three mana deal three to kill Ezreal. Yeah, it's the very first card. That is a three mana deal three. That will work. If I pass, they pass. Is that bad for me? I'm not scared of the 2 2, of course. I am very, very scared of Shellfolk. Next round. I'd like to just save my three spell mana for next round so I can have vengeance. That had to have been a card doesn't show. That had to have been like a card created by like conchologists, right? They're not just like playing that card. Um, hit shelf hook number two. Let me get you that fire. Yeah. Oh dear. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Okay, so whenever they played that card, they put the nine puff caps on, so they're each on the burgeoning sentinels. I don't miss. Not the kindreds. The catalog's been awesome, though. Like because of the catalog, they didn't want to replay their other shell folk. Yeah, we play you. Demacia sends its regards. They know about that card in hand because they saw the three me get the three pup caps, so they know that I drew that card. So it's like the uh, revealed hidden information. Shellfolk? Shellfolk. Ooh, got rid of a Vi. Man, this is a Loof Traveler's card. It's not bad. Yeah, I'd have to say it's not bad. No. Elf, that's not ours. Ooh, it hit that thing. Okay, so it doesn't always hit just the thing on the right. Okay. 
This would be a good time for some go-hards. They get an aggro. Time for a true display of skill. Lots of options. If I aftershock Ezreal, all they have to do is target one of my things in response, like a Mystic Shot or whatever, then that's leveled up, then that's a problem for me. Uh, if I, like, Station Archivist is like my best card to play right now, but if I do that, then we don't have a blocker for their Ezreal. I think we probably should just play our Ezreal for a blocker. Even though it's not like blocker for their Ezreal to keep them from getting a free Mystic Shot. It's not like my best play otherwise. Like the only reason why I'm playing this is because they played theirs. It's not an ideal play. I think I've only played one Go Hard this game. They don't know what they're up against. I did not realize that as like, oh yeah, that just counts as yeah. Never mind, that's just one damage. I was I was gonna say I didn't realize that counts as. Okay, so these are the cards that we're drawing from left to right here, like, uh, you know, going in this order. I think we get the, so, you know, whichever one we, we grab, we're getting multiple copies of next round. So if we, if we get Static Shock, that means we have two Static Shocks next round. I think that sounds good. I think we have something on that case. Oh, right, it is fleeting. We're not getting the multiple static shocks the next round. Right, 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 because it's fleeting. That also makes sense. Right, my bad. Let's try to get rid of Vi slash Shell Folk. Only Sump Fumes? That's not good for me. That's probably not so good for me. Okay, what does an attack out look like? Yet. Probably not that great. Not worth it. Would I rather make multiple copies of Aftershock next round, or multiple copies of Unspeakable Horror? Never mind. Won't get that opportunity. Those are really good quality pranks. Those are the two best cards to prank. Did they hit? best cards to prank. They basically got like a, a time walk here. They basically got to just completely waste my round. Firing. Nothing's more exciting than an unsolved mystery. We do have a Withering Mist coming up.
So Withering Mist would be... If I play this, then Withering Mist, that's 8 mana. That means we'd have 4 extra mana. So we had enough for the 2 Mystic Shots. Alternatively, this puts me at 8 mana... Yeah, we could. Yeah, I could get Kindred in play. That's what I was trying to think of. Like, if we like get rid of some of these one ones, get Kindred in play, Mystic Shot, start marking other things. I think the best thing to do. Is we just need to stay alive. As long as we stay alive, we're winning this. I think the best thing to do is just grab this Withering Mist. Be going upstairs with these. Maybe I should. Yeah, maybe I should be going Nexus. I'm just not really that worried about anything they can play with just like one card. Like Vi, Ezreal, Shellfolk. None of these are that scary. Like even like Ezreal. We have this to stop Ezreal. Okay, I guess I guess shell folks a little scary. Don't blink or you miss me. All right, that'll do. Just gotta get some nexus healing, get some catalog for some extra spells. And we're three and one. Easy. Like my name. As long as we don't play against Viego, we good. Okay, we got another Ezreal deck. I think that our Nexus Healing Shadow Isles Nexus Healing card should help us out in this matchup. This looks like Shadow Isles Nexus Healing. We don't want to see Aftershock, of course. We don't want them to destroy our catalog. We had very good aloof travelers last game, getting rid of the shell folk. I am superior life form. They don't have thermo. Let's see all of it. Horo cannon. Maybe we should be doing this unspeakable horror. That go hard is such a good draw here because that just gives me, you know, a non fleeting spell to play and I can play all of these. Right, that's thing. Keep 
Catalog of Regrets. Giving you all dumb spells. Giving them all dumb spells. Make another go hard. Demacia sends its regards. Thank you. That was kind of you to give me a good go hard target. I appreciate that. If I'm supposed to lead with the Loof Travelers or not. Double stress testing? Alright, so those are both fleeting cards right there. So those two in the middle are both fleeting, so that's one of them. You don't really want your Loof Travelers to discard a fleeting card. <laughs> we should put Mirai and Catalog together. Make multiple awesome three mana spells. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. Okay, good. We didn't make them discard their fleeting card. That's the fleeting card right there. Strength in numbers. Oh, I don't have enough mana for that. That's rude. You wanna come up here, Pup? Come here. Pup. Jump. Yeah, there you go, pup. How you doing, pup? Ooh, that's a good mega range. That was a cool mega range, pup. Wow, both Eclipse Dragon? Man, we have infinite cards now. <laughs> Go away. Go away, go away, come again another day. I'm ready, little man. Alright. That's just the way it is. It's a good card to unlock the Nightfall. Because, you know, I want to play these Eclipse Dragons on Nightfall so we get more dragons and Celestials. Yeah, we just have too many cards. <laughs> Can we have everything cost zero? We'll let all of your stuff cost zero also. Can we just have everything cost zero? The waters nurture the Mirai. Impudent child. Never lost a fair game, or played one. I'm sorry, Evershade Stalker. I know you're cool and all. Like maybe I should get rid of the Cadigan. Not Evershade Stalker. They're gonna have to get some awesome spells from Mariah Great Mother. Time for a true display of skill. All right, Catrigrin. So they're they're playing this into knowing they have to get excited. Wow, I was gonna say so. Then they're probably play one spell to target. I would have thought, but I guess not. Soak it in. Hit some good, they're gonna have to get some good targets. Those are some great, like, that works out really well for them. Look what I found. So they're gonna need some luck. That's, that's some 
some luck. Get him, Israel. Don't blink or you miss me. I'll allow it. Divide. Stop bragging if you can back it up. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Still be very surprised if we lose this game. Sure. <laughs> that, that was look. That was cool. Machine gun down the sand soldiers. Boom, 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 boom. Like a fish in water. <laughs> Look, a thing. L, that's not ours. All right, shifting sands gone. Have another harrowing. dance. That's fine. Okay. Go ahead and just attack. Nah. Yeah, I had to play the Scourge. Get some overwhelm. Okay, a good four and one. Man, this deck looked really strong. All right, good four and one there with Ezreal Kindred. This deck looked awesome. It, we did lose to Viego, but Viego really doesn't lose to other Shadow Isles decks, especially if you play a Viego deck with a lot of protection. Um, you know, like Viego can lose to other regions and everything, but Viego kind of owns Shadow Isles. So they, they got us there with Viego, but besides that, our deck looked awesome. Kindred was really good for us, honestly. Like, there was, you know, those first couple of games when we are playing against the more aggressive decks, like, being able to slay different units and stuff was really important for us winning. You know, like, the Gangplank Sejuani, we got the free kills on the 2-4 and the 3-3. And then even stabilizing against the Lulu, the Lulu Poppy deck. That was an incredible comeback. We needed Kindred slaying, like, some Stone Stackers and stuff, helping us stay alive. Um... Yeah, Viego's kind of king of the region, <laughs> but that's all right. Uh, against everything else, our deck looked awesome. Against the the slower control decks, we just outgrinded them with Catalog. Catalog was amazing, and then against the aggro decks, you know, we just try to kill them with a bunch of small things and use Kindred uh, to stay alive. So, Aloof Travelers was awesome. Withering Mist, awesome. Just a really good deck here. So, all right, there we go, Kindred. Kindred back to being viable. 4-1 in Masters rank with Kindred. And Ezreal, and Catalog, and Aloof Travelers. <laughs> anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, leave those comments and let me know what you think of Ezreal Kindred. If you give it a try yourself, if you're a Kindred fan, let me know how it goes for you. Hopefully, you do just as well as we did. But uh, that's going to be it for this video. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.